Hi guys, Mary Poplin here from Imagineer Systems, and today we're going to go over the newly updated Mocha for After Effects Creative Cloud for Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud 2014. Now, as usual, we're just going to go right to the animation window. Um, we're going to select our footage, and in our animation window, we're going to go to Track in Mocha for After Effects, and let's open up the new Mocha for After Effects. If you haven't registered for Mocha for After Effects yet, make sure you do that. Um, it makes you eligible for all sorts of fun discounts um, when you need to upgrade to other versions of Mocha if you want to. Um, in this case, I'm just going to hit register later because I want this window to pop up so I can show you guys. If this is the first time that you've run Mocha for After Effects, you're going to want to just go ahead and hit yes. And then I just use the basic settings, so I'm going to hit OK. But if you want to set your memory or anything like that, you can do that in this as well. So we're going to go hit OK and start. And Mocha will automatically start a new file for us with our footage. We want to make sure that our file uh, frame rate, aspect ratio, and size is exactly what it should be. And then hit OK. As of October 6, 2014, the newly released After Effects Creative Cloud 2014.1, which is a 13.1 update, Mocha for After Effects has been updated to Mocha AE CC 2014. You can see the version number if you go to Help and About, and you'll see that it's version 4.0.1, build 9110. This is a major version update that includes compatibility with Mocha Pro 4 and Mocha Plus 4. So what's new in Mocha for After Effects CC 2014? Well, for one thing, we have a new project-based structure. Project settings in Mocha AE can now be modified independently from the clip used to create the project. So you can go to Choose File and Project Settings, so right here. And in Project Settings, you can now alter your length of frames, your frame offset, and your frame rate. You can do this without relinking your clips, so that's the useful part of this. We've also updated our export data for our tracker. So in this case, I'm going to come in here, track this guy's face right quick, and I'm going to show you what I mean by our... So the anchor point has been removed from Adobe Transform Data. So when we click Transform Data, to reduce confusion about how to use tracking results, Mocha for After Effects no longer exports the anchor point along with this information. If your intent is to stabilize instead of matching motion, you can hit invert right here on your dialog box and when you copy this to your clipboard you can use that as well but we don't actually need invert let me show you what we're talking about about the lack of anchor point I'm going to copy this to the clipboard back over to After Effects layer new null object edit paste and now when we come into our transform you can see there's no anchor point and our track moves right along nicely with what we tracked inside of Mocha without any sort of odd offset that you used to get inside of the old version of Mocha for After Effects. Back inside of Mocha for After Effects, we also have a new keyboard customization. So in your preferences, if you go to keyboard shortcuts, our default keyboard shortcuts are still the old Mocha shortcuts, but you can also use the keyboard shortcuts for After Effects, Cinema 4D, Fusion, or Nuke if you so choose. Keyboard shortcuts can now be customized for almost every tool, action, and menu item in Mocha for After Effects. We've moved from our old low-res interface to a high DPI interface with streamlined workflow, including our tools being grouped together, for instance the Picker tool is now merged into one tool. Our transform tool is more obvious. Our link layers tool is more obvious. And overall, the design has just been improved. We are also now currently able to take advantage of Apple Retina displays on Mac OS X. We have a linear controls system enabled now. So if you go to your preferences and you go to from rotational controls, to linear controls and click OK. Now you can adjust your controls in a linear fashion instead of rotating. Customers asked for it, we changed it. 
Previously, this only worked when dragging over the number in the field. While dragging, you can now hold the Shift key to increase mount's sensitivity or hold the Command on Mac or Control on Windows key to decrease mouse sensitivity. Another thing that we have added is in our shapes now, we can now add or subtract the edge width of the shape. We're also now able to import Red Dragon footage. Simply change your proxy settings to 1 to 1, 1 to 2, or 1 to 4 in order to make your large footage play nicer inside of Mocha for After Effects Creative Cloud 2014. To see the difference between the Adobe bundled Mocha for After Effects and other Mocha products, please check our compare chart, which you can find right here on our website under products and compare. If you have any questions, please check out our video tutorials or contact support. If you'd like to purchase an upgrade, you can always go to our web shop or you can contact our sales team. We're here to help and we hope you have a wonderful day. Thank mm -hmm. you.